All right, so first of all, I think Dana White is probably the most dishonest, conniving figure in sports. However, in this case, I do see some truth in what he had to say about Ariel Hawani. It's like with this whole Ariel Hawani thing, it's more about, you know, oh, what, what can I sneak and get out and steal from the fans? You know, the excitement and enjoyment of the fans seeing it when it comes out instead of actually doing some real journalism. So, uh, yeah. So, all right, to me, I think this was more about how proud Dana and Lorenzo were to make the announcement as opposed to how excited they think the fans would be. I mean, anyone who read Ariel's tweet most likely had the same excitement. It's just that the UFC and Dana were pissed off because Ariel got to experience the enjoyment of breaking the news. Bullshit. I'm calling bullshit on that. With Dana White and Lorenzo and Frank Fertitta, it's all about control. These guys want to control every single element of the UFC. If one person says something out of line, if they can fire them, they will. Look at Stitch and Burt. All right, what this is, is Dana was duped. He was pissed off and he's throwing his own pity party because Ariel was able to uncover some information that was not supposed to be uncovered. And now Dana's throwing a hissy fit, like usual. It was dirty. He knows it was dirty. And uh, he threw a big pity party for himself, <laughs> crying on camera and shit. He's fucking just, just ridiculous. So. Now, I do agree it was dirty. Ariel probably shouldn't have done it. And if it was with anyone other than Dana or the UFC, it would be understandable. But we all have seen there's no loyalty with the UFC. So why would you go out of your way to offer them any common courtesy? Now, granted, Dana probably has done a lot for Ariel. And it's almost like Ariel was shooting himself in the foot. But again, Dana would have forbidden him to release the information. And why would you want to do any favors for Dana anyways? Ariel Hawani knows. I've done, I've done a lot of shit for Ariel Hawani. A lot of shit for Ariel Hawani. And it's just, you know. Now again, Dana probably has done a lot of shit for Ariel Hawani, but it's when Ariel Hawani is releasing the exact information that Dana wants released. And he's acting as a promoter for the company. When Ariel starts to be critical of the UFC, or release accurate information, Dana throws a hissy fit. Yeah, he, he, well, he got his credential back. I want to say he's in decent graces. Uh, I don't know he got his credential much. back. You can just hear the disdain in Dana's voice. He was pressured into giving Ariel Hawani his credential back, and this guy hated it. But it's just, uh, we built that promo, you know, and a lot of people were, were quiet about it, and a lot of people, you know, it was for the fans. That thing's for the fans, for that wow factor to be there and go, oh, wow, Brock's back. And the way that he did it, it had a lot of people pointing fingers at each other. You notice I wasn't out there putting the belt on Dominic Cruz. Then when I ran out to, to put the belt on Bisbing, because I've been with Bisbing for 10 years. He's such a great guy. My sleeves are rolled up. I got no jacket on because I'm dealing with the aftermath of the weasel move that he pulled. You know, people can call it journalism or whatever. We can have our differences of opinion on that. Sour grapes. Dana's just mad because Ariel did investigative research that produced the correct answer. And I mean, this just goes to prove that people aren't loyal to Dana. One, he doesn't pay well. Two, he's a jerk. So you offer some of the guys a couple bucks and they're going to give you the information you need, which is most likely how Ariel acquired the information. I mean, why would anyone be loyal to Dana? This was definitely a low blow by Dana. I mean, to bring his kids up. Yes, Ariel was crying. Dana's always crying or pouting or bitching. But this was definitely a low blow. No doubt. The bottom line is this. It was all about Ariel. 
Now, this statement actually was true. I mean, with the competition now, Arrow used to have pretty much the only significant show or podcast or whatever. So it's almost like he's getting desperate to break news, give the big stories. He used to kind of have exclusive access. Now it seems like a lot of different um, journalists have access to fighters and Dana and whatnot. So this definitely was all about Ariel. He did not have to release it. If it was anyone else, there might have been some sympathy. But with Dana, who really cares? But this definitely was just Ariel's way, in my opinion, of showing that he had access to this information. If it was something more serious, like, you know, they knew, for example, one of the top fighters was on steroids and the information wasn't being released and Ariel released it, that would be one thing. But this was just Ariel's way of showing that he had access to the information and he wanted to break the news. But again, against Dana, who cares? Journalism is supposed to be, when you're a guy that covers the sport, it's about the sport. That, that, what we did, that spot and everything, was for the fans. Dana's not at liberty to say what and what is not journalism. Dana just cares about the bottom line, making money. He doesn't care who he runs over, who he screws over. This had nothing to do with what journalism is. What Dana wants is puppets. He wants to tell the journalists what to say, what to report on, and in what way and what manner to say it. And if they don't do it, they're not journalists, they're traitors. And a lot of good people worked hard to pull that thing off and to make that thing happen and to try to keep it a secret, including the WWE. This is what it's really about. Dana's butt hurt that someone leaked the information and they weren't loyal to him. But again, why would you be loyal to Dana? He'll throw you under the bus in a heartbeat. Now I can see he's trying to protect his relationship with the WWE, but again, this is about Dana being butt hurt. Dana should actually be happy that Ariel exposed a weakness in his company or a mole, a leak, whatever. But instead he's just throwing his own Pity party. It was all about him, and then even after it was over, it was all about him and his big world tour pity party that he threw for himself. Then he goes on crying on, on his show and shit. So I think this is what angered Dana the most. The fact that everyone, or nearly everyone, major media outlets went to bat for Ariel. And the UFC, Dana, Lorenzo Frank, were forced to give Ariel his credential back. When you're a real journalist, you reach out and you say, hey, this is the rumor, this is going on and everything else, and I'm going to run with it. You know what I mean? That's what the real journalists do. Come on, man. I mean, truly, that is what a real journalist would do if he felt a sense of loyalty or respect for the person, or even just a common courtesy. But Dana is a known liar. He would have just said, no, that's not true. Don't say anything. Go back and sit down. And then Ariel wouldn't have been able to report it. But in this case, I think Ariel did the right thing. He reported the information, which pissed Dana off. I mean, you shouldn't bite the hand that feeds you. But to reach up, Dana's never going to say, yeah, that's true. Go ahead and report that. So it was, it was a pointless situation. He's a website guy. something they reach out and show that respect and, and you know have that relationship whereas you know he's not that guy you know and a lot of people you know support him and good for you and all that stuff but a lot of people have turned on him too again Dana's not at liberty to say what a real journalist is and again this just shows that he's butt hurt that there was a ton of support for Ariel and the USC was forced to to give the credential back. When, 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 when you go that way with me, I don't know, I'm, 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 I'm hard to get back. Does anyone really care if Dana's hard to get back? I mean, if this guy was not fortunate enough to know the Fertitta brothers and be the president of the UFC, I don't think anyone would care who, you, who he is, who he was. But since he has his position, he acts like people want to get in his good graces, which they do solely because He's in that position. And, and he almost destroyed a relationship 15 years in the making. Wow. And other relationships, you know. 
The only thing that probably hurt any relationship was Dana going ballistic and throwing a temper tantrum. We've already established Ariel was most likely out of line. He should not have released that tweet. But knowing Dana would have lied about the information, forbid him to release it. I believe Ariel was justified in releasing the information. And Dana is just throwing his own pity party. Thanks for listening. Take care.